when I was at home in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, I did art all the time, was looking to go into art school when I was a senior in high school. And so in magazines, there would be this drawing of a pirate and it would say, draw me and you can go to this home study, art school, whatever, win a scholarship. So I sent off for it. In it, it had like a ton of things that you had to draw. One of the things you had to draw was a, a dress, design a dress on a, a fashion figure. I didn't know anything about fashion design. So I would draw something and then I didn't like it and I would draw another thing and it just kept easily coming. And then somebody said, oh, you should be a fashion designer. And I really didn't know what that was. And then I found out about what designers could make and I'm thinking this comes really easy. Maybe I should be a fashion designer. And I did it for a year. I didn't want to go back home and be the kid who couldn't handle a big city. So I thought I'd join the Air Force, travel, grow up, learn to deal with the world outside of Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Then that led to other careers. So I was back to another place in my life. What, I'm, what was I meant to be? Look at my life, Greg, and, and look and see what kind of resonated. And there's a, a pattern. So I noticed that when I was in school, back home, in the military, I gravitated towards people who had problems. And it kind of fascinated me how they worked through those things. So I would listen to people and people would just kind of open their heart and share all their personal life. And then as I start to see this thread, no matter where I went in life, I thought, well, maybe I should get into psychology. So my first job was at a group home and um, that began my journey in getting into where I am now, which is a rehab specialist. And that job is to help people that are SMI, which means seriously mentally ill, to uh, get a job or go back to school or try to motivate them to move forward in life and not be stuck with some label that somebody has given them. We're all in this creative process. And so when I look at people and when I connect with people, it's really a part of that art. Painting, you think of writing, you think of music. But art is much more bigger than that. So I don't even like saying art as much as being creative. So my creative life is who I am. So when I connect with somebody at the clinic, there's always some creativity connection with people. And even if they aren't creative or do art or do anything, there's a strong need to at least want to. So uh, this book is called Passing On a, a Journey of Thoughts. This book is about helping people learn how to have a conversation beyond their normal conversations with someone they love or care about or friend. And that's Justin in the middle there. So there would be a poem and then there would be five questions related to that poem. And so the idea of it is you write down what you think about that question. And then what you do is you pass this book on to somebody else. Then they read the poem, they read the questions, and they write their thoughts down. So then you end up with this personal journal of your thoughts, their thoughts, and, and something that you can have that's equal to having a photograph of somebody. 